Speaking of the dad from Boogeyman, he was also in a show <laughs> called Based on a True Story that came out on Peacock, uh, which Adam uh, refused to watch. I don't know. Adam, why didn't you watch this? I thought you okay. loved cock. Okay. So I do love chicken things out on the, on the, on the cock. Uh, yeah. Tony, here, here's the deal. This is actually a really funny, long story. It's okay. short, I promise. You sent me the list of movies to watch, and you yeah. put Boogeyman, and then under that you put, um, let, let me get it in specific detail you put the boogeyman and then you put based on a true story parentheses peacock only need to watch the first episode i thought boogeyman was the thing that was based on a true story i didn't realize there were two different things so I'm like i've seen everything else but that one thing on the list um, okay so, yeah, so i didn't see this because i don't know i don't have reading comprehension because you did clearly put yeah you, know, you put a space in there you put that's return. my bad i should have put quotations so no, you put quick. a hard return that's on me <laughs> so based on a true story is about a couple who's like kind of failing financially the one guy was like a former tennis star who like hurt his leg uh and he's now being demoted as a coach at a like a like a country know, some, club. Yeah, like a yeah, country club. Yeah. Like she's Coach pregnant. Five year olds or something. Yeah, the wife is pregnant. Uh, she's trying to sell houses, but she's not doing a good job. They find out that their plumber is the, the West Side <laughs> Ripper, a murderer. And instead of turning him into the authorities, they're like, let's start a podcast with him. <laughs> uh, and it's actually kind of funny because, like, at first he's like, what the hell are you talking about? He kills the girl from Stranger Things, the older sister from Stranger Things. Um, but yeah, then like as so basically the show is them basically trying to do this podcast, figure out a way to monetize it secretly. Meanwhile, he is like getting like drunk with fame and it's like getting <laughs> to his head and he's like overcomplicating the whole thing. I really, really enjoyed this show. Uh, Joey C, what did you think? Yeah, I, I really love it. Uh, they mentioned my, my city in the first episode, which is really cool. Um, I, it's a pretty unique idea for like a true crime. And there's a lot of commentary about like, oh, well, we're here to honor the victims while glorifying the, the, the person who killed them. Yeah. And uh, a lot of social commentary there. That's really cool. Uh, it also just feels like every other like show on Netflix in the 2020s. <laughs> like they're like social political like yeah. like sub commentary. Not annoying um, though. It didn't it annoy isn't annoying me at all. No. It, it's more or less used as like a uh, comedic like back conversation. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I I have like four episodes done now. I uh, I really love it. I I think it's a wonderful show. I think it's a fun fun easy watch. Okay. Gil, uh, for the first half hour that you watched, what did you think? Yeah, everything you said about how he's the killer, they decided right. to start a podcast with him. I haven't gotten to any of that stuff. Well, <laughs> well when you said really. it, <laughs> yeah. I think earlier you said you watched it. I assume you watched the whole episode. <laughs> uh, I told you I'm starting it now. I was oh. going to try and finish before the stream. <laughs> All right. Well, but like, I will say. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, no, no. You go, you go, you go. So I, I am enjoying it so far. I actually, just based on the title and the way it's kind of promoted on Peacock, it looks really goofy. So yeah. I was pleasantly surprised that they don't play it like just silly all the way through. Like the marital problems between the husband and wife feel very true to life. And I actually yeah. feel myself getting invested in the drama of it. Uh, it's totally a little weird so far, but I wonder if that kind of equalizes over the next few episodes where they'll do that. It's actually funny. You mentioned in it where it does that over the top, like yeah. bum, bum, bum. they do that a few times in the show. It almost feels like scream in those moments, <laughs> which it just feels a little weird. Which there, there is a screen connection in this movie, but yes. is there? Yes. Um, uh, I'm enjoying show. it so far. I'm going to keep watching it. Yeah. Yeah, Gil you got think? a lot of information just off the title sequence. That's, that's <laughs> <impressive>. <laughs> what, what, what did you think, Casey? Uh, yeah, I haven't finished it yet, but I was a little worried at the start because I feel like there's so many shows like this right now, even mm -hmm. some of a few on Peacock, um, but like The Flight Attendant, maybe Search Party, and this reminded me so much of Only Murders, but it does okay. definitely have a different twist on it, which I'm really excited to see how it pans out. Mm. Yeah, okay. I like it so far. It's fun. Okay, Wyatt, what did you think? I feel like I'm going to unfairly critique it because I only watched the first episode. That's fine. I mean, even though uh, you'll watch the first 30 minutes, you still don't get the podcasting part within the last like, 10 minutes or 20 minutes of yeah. it. Um, it was okay. I mean, I was going to ask if it was supposed to be like a, a straight up comedy or not, because like you're saying, like how it's, they're promoting it's a dark, it. It's a dark comedy. 
It's yeah, because it wasn't like that first episode wasn't very humorous at all. It was OK. Uh, it, it had some weird spots in it, like uh, whenever she's showing the house and she has like that weird like vision of her screwing oh, the, the yeah. dude she showed. Yeah. yeah. But, like there's so nothing weird. else in the episode that's remotely like that. So I was like, oh. I don't know if that goes through through the rest of the series. But like that was a little weird because they okay. don't do that throughout the rest of the episode that, that is one of my complaints sometimes the dreams there the dream sequence are throughout the whole series okay and they start to get a little ridiculous and they, they they're kind of like playing a trick on the audience where it's like is this really happening uh mm -hmm. and then it's like oh wow the last five minutes have been a dream sequence that does get a little annoying uh mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to say when or how, but eventually a dead person has a dream sequence, which I was very confused <laughs> by. Um, uh, but I will say uh, these two are like the hottest actresses I've ever seen. Uh, the redhead was in the newest Scream movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, um, that's right, and, yeah. And the bitchy friend who uh, is married to the rich guy. I was like, holy. It, as, as I said in that one video we did, Casey, Bury the Bride. I'm like, that was an instant Instagram follow. <laughs> he really so reminds me of Megan Fox. She gives me Megan Fox. Yeah, she does. She does. Uh, but yeah, I had a really, really great time. Uh, again, the dream sequences kind of took me out of it. But one other thing took me out of it. I was really, really enjoying it. Uh, but then this guy showed up, and I like I, I thought maybe this was a dream huh. sequence because clearly that man's face is too small for his head. I was just gonna say that. Tony. Yeah, you and that's Photoshop that didn't you? And the, yeah, the episode starts with this guy talking. I'm like, what's <laughs> what's going on here? Why is that man's face so small for his head? Am I led to believe that this is a universe where people have small faces on their head? And I huh. I kept waiting for the guy to wake up from the dream, but it just never happened. So I don't know. We could all agree that there's something going wrong here. Adam, yeah, what do you think? Yeah, it looks like a deep fake. Uh it, 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 like a giant body and then a child's face and then they put a mustache on it. So everything's yeah. wrong about it right now. <laughs> Casey, what, what do you think? This is clearly I'm, like AI or something, right? I'm just distracted by the hair. It's the hair <laughs> for me, not the face. It's the hair. Uh, the, the, hair, the hair is bad is what you're saying, right? Can I have you on record saying that the hair is bad? I don't think the hair fits the face, not the face. <laughs> that yeah. works. That works. Yeah. That'll get under his skin. I mean, this person that <laughs> no. I don't know. No. This person that I don't know at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, check out Based on a True Story. Now, 